Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Games from Scratch, and today we're going to be talking about one of the elder statesmen in the world of open source, and that is GIMP. Now GIMP stands for the GNU Image Manipulation Program, it has been around since the 90s, and the uh, version 2 was actually released 20 years ago, while well, version 3 was started 7 years ago, and we are finally there. So we've got um, GIMP 3.0.0 is now released. Now I covered this a little while back, about uh, 4 or 5 months back they did their first release candidate, I talked about it then. But now, as of last night around 5 o'clock, it is finalized and done. So if you want to go ahead and check it out, you can do so. I'm going to do a quick hands-on with the GIMP, then we're going to jump into the release notes for this one. First off, you now have this little launcher here, and you can do things here like change the icon scaling. On top of that, you can change from light mode to medium mode to dark mode. You see it's all very responsive in terms of how fast it reacts. On top of that, there are some uh, behind the scenes changes which should result in better performance, especially if you are on Linux. There is now support for Wayland uh, as well as uh, X11. On top of that, they also moved to GTK3. On top of that, with all the other changes they've done, uh, you should have better high DPI support going forward, which is a nice thing. So this is GIMP. Uh, again, not a ton of hands-on time today. Uh, the major new features that they've got, they have a new painting mode where you can have it so that it uh, resizes your painting as you paint to the edges, uh, which is a cool new move. On top of that, filters are now non-destructive, so you can apply these in a stack, go back and edit them and remove them. And they have made some pretty major changes to their text editing tools. So let's go just jump into the release notes, find out what's new in GIMP 3. So if you want to go ahead and grab GIMP, it is free and open source under the GPL v3 license, by the way. So source code is available out there. It is available at GIMP.org. Uh, we now have the GIMP 3.0 release. And here we'll go through the highlights of it. So uh, we've had a long time since GIMP 2. So again, seven years ago is when GIMP 3 branch was first started and 20 years ago when GIMP 2 was released. So their release schedule is not exceedingly fast. All right, so highlights of this new feature. So no need to tweak a filter you apply hours ago. GIMP 3 is now non-destructive editing for most commonly used filters. Do notice that word most. It doesn't mean all of them, but most of them are now that way. Uh, see the real time change. See the changes in real time and on canvas preview. We also have better file format support, including BC7 DDS files, as well as PSD export. Uh, these are commonly used for texturing. So that is a nice one for game developers. Uh, don't know how big to make your drawing. Simply set your paint tool to expand layers automatically as you need it. So if you started off with say a 600 by 600 and you drew beyond the edge you can move it to like 600 by 900 and have it grow dynamically so you don't really need to fret over how big to make your uh, things to start your canvas to start because it will just keep growing uh, make pro quality text got easier style your text apply outlines shadows bevels and more and you can still edit your text uh, change fonts and sides even tweak the style settings i remember working with text in gimp previous versions and it was hell. So some improvements here are definitely a nice thing. Uh, organizing your layers has become much easier with the ability to select multiple items at once, move them or transform them all together. Uh, we also have improvements to the color management, long-term projects. So some of this is still ongoing uh, to make GIMP uh, image editor for all usage. Uh, and they upgraded to GTK3 for modern desktop usage. That also helps for things like um, high DPI displays and so on. Uh, and then there is this new logo. So if you wanna jump in and learn even more, they have in-depth release notes of everything here. So again, GTK3 update is a big deal because you get better UI scaling on high DPI displays and high DPI displays have become very common. So uh, that is a pretty important one. Also better support for tablet input, which is important. And then it runs on Wayland now, uh, which should improve things for Linux users. A uh, theme system now uses CSS, which we hope for allow users to create their own themes easily. And a lot of important bug fixes, which could not be backported to the GTK2 libraries they were working on. Again, they have this non-destructive uh, layering system here. If you've worked with pretty much anything else, you'll find it there. Uh, so we've got some updates to the GEGL filters. Uh, we can also find them now directly using the slash search command to apply them in. Uh, and then operations are now even better integrated with GIMP thanks to new metadata allowing a filter to register into menus without wrapping code in GIMP. It's particularly useful for third-party developers wishing to write filters. Uh, we've got, again, improvements to color. So uh, GIMP now has more extensive support for RGB color spaces beyond sRGB. Uh, I know this is an area they're definitely still working on as well. They do have that new welcome dialog I showed very early on. Uh, again, you can switch between light, gray, and dark variants. Uh, you've got various different options for font scaling and icon scaling. 
A uh, number of improvements to the layering support, off, so automatic expansion of layers, which is a very cool feature. A number of user interface improvements as well, workflow shortcuts improvements, uh, improved file format support in there, as we mentioned earlier on, better text, the new logo, some experimental tools in there, including paint selection, uh, updates to the API, which by the way is now frozen as of 3.0, so you should be able to start porting things over, no problem, and a number of under the hood changes in here as well. So I uh, don't know what your thoughts of GIMP are. I've had some problems with it in the past performance-wise. I run almost pr primarily on Windows well. I've heard it's better on Linux, and it should be even better on Linux now that Wayland support is there. But let me know what you think of GIMP. Again, this has been 20 years since GIMP 2 was released and seven years since GIMP 3 was started, so a pretty major release by the team. Let me know what you think of GIMP 3 in the comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.